all right got another video for you got the ozark trail m.2 ridge and i have went and made this into an electric bike using a 2000 watt direct drive hub motor silent makes no noise uh, no gears in there no planetary gears just one um, oh, one spindle in the center and put an alta shifter on this is a seven speed the most you could do with this because it's the uh, the threaded type um, free wheel I think that's the right term for it um, seven speed and I believe that's a 34 tooth and a 12 on the uh, high end so I couldn't go with an eight speed, which is fine. Seven speed works good. 52 volt battery. Controller has to be mounted externally on this one. It's a sin wave or sine wave controller. Um, it's kind of nice because you can swap in different controllers if you choose. And that's the stock uh, chain ring on there. I put some uh, Fuker aftermarket pedals, ball bearing pedals and got some schwalbe marathon plus mtb uh they got like a smart guard it's one of the more puncture resistant tires you can get for uh for a mountain bike um, and they roll really smooth they're quiet on the road which is really nice and forgive the wiring i'm still working on that it's a work in progress um but everything works well super quiet very powerful this one doesn't have like a lot of low end torque um, but it really comes alive the faster you go so and it's kind of nice because you can blip the throttle when you're at a stop to uh, get across an intersection got mt501 brakes on there front and back yeah, put a headlight on there works pretty good had to go with this uh, seven speed Shimano I think it's a tourney shifter and it is the only one that clears the Suron style throttle that I haven't got to yet I was going to tell you about that I love this throttle had to wire it to the controller which is no big deal just three wires but it is so responsive and I just, it's a joy to ride with that throttle. Um, and this shifter clears the housing right here. So that worked out really good. And the shifter's like $14. I mean, it's super. So, and I put some pro taper grips on there. Those are like a pillow, pillow top light, something like that. Super grippy, enjoyable to ride. It's just, all the touch points um, matter so much on a bike and this one's getting pretty dialed in for me i love the handlebars 120 mil rise i got an ergon saddle on here smc men's model perfect just really works well fits the sit bones good no numbness in the places that you don't want it and yeah got the tail light on there too those are both usb-c charging the headlight and the tail light which makes it pretty nice uh suntour xct30 that come with a bike and i'm actually going to upgrade that i've got a rock shocks recon i believe it's an rl air shock at the house with a tapered head tube and i just need to uh get a boost wheel because that's a boost the other one that I have at the house, the Rock Shocks, it's a boost um, fork. So this one's just a, uh, a regular quick release. So, but that'll be in the future. This one works really good right now. So we got a, I'm sure you can't see that on the screen very good. I apologize for that. SW900 is the display, works well. The control for the display is over here and I carry some extra tools with me. I put some marks 
on the nuts. Nothing has come loose. Everything's been great, but I put those marks on there just to be sure. I went ahead and, and drilled the bracket, and I'm just using a part of the frame there to uh, attach the torque arm to. Didn't have to modify the frame at all. And again, I got a line on that nut as well. So I did some Velcro along here because if I would have to change a flat, it's doubtful, but if I do, I can just undo that Velcro and take the wheel off and do what I need to do. Got a tube and some tire tools in there and up front here in this bag, I've got some more tools, a few zip ties, some tape, and I put a, a small crescent wrench that's just enough to do that back axle. Um, so kind of nice to have a few extra things in there. I think I put a multi-tool in there as well and just basic stuff. So, but hopefully get some ride video for you. All right, we're gonna try this out again. Got the Ozark Trail M.2 Ridge with my 2000 watt uh, direct drive hub motor. And just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the noise level and uh, a little enjoyment of nature at the same time. So, but this thing is the quietest motor I have ever had. Um, it surpasses the BBS HD and the M625 in the noise um, as far as being quiet. And I mean, I guess if you really, really try, but I'm on throttle right now and you can't hear anything except for the ticking of the freewheel. Um, but it's about as quiet as it gets. Very few moving parts in there. Um, I don't believe this one's going to be not that any of them are much maintenance for that matter but I think there's even less to maintain in this one uh, you know there's no extra gears it's just uh, just the basic motor components and uh, nothing extra so but hopefully this is a good um, we'll shift her up a little bit I'm pedaling on pedal assist right now but uh, the throttle, the uh, Suron style throttle that I've been using, it's so easy to just use just a little bit if you need a little bit more. Um, but again, super quiet. And let me uh, hold the camera down by the motor. Maybe you can hear it a little bit better. Not sure how that sounded to you, but uh, yeah, it's quiet. <laughs> I put it on level two so that I could use the throttle a little bit more easily. I have it tuned down. Level one uh, is good for right around 10 miles an hour. And then the next level, it really jumps up pretty dramatically. So that's closer to 20 mile an hour on level two. So. But anyhow, yeah, I waited a little while to post this. I've had a chance to put about 178 miles on this motor and really have been enjoying it. Um, I like all the motors for different reasons. You know that if you've watched my videos, but this is just kind of a carefree wind in your hair. Well, ha, that's a little bit of a joke because I'm bald right now shaving my head this summer but uh, anyhow it's it's definitely a, an enjoyable motor very very quiet and just super super smooth throttle response it isn't like some of the other bikes where you have it's almost an on and off switch for the throttle it's very smooth and modulated uh, you can give it just ever so slightly or you can just max it out quick and it's Again, super smooth. The, the, the throttle's great. It's the best throttle that I've had on any e-bike uh, by far, including Bafang. And uh, 
And as I said, a lot of them are almost like an on and off switch. I thought somebody was behind me. Um, a lot of them are, are uh, just, you know, they're good for a once in a while use. This one you can actually, if I wanted to, I could just use a throttle only and be comfortable doing that. Although I don't like to do that because I want some exercise too. So, uh, but it is very comfortable even if you wanted to use it that way. So in the motor, uh, you know, it's more power than I need, but you know, it's, you can grow into it. You don't have to use it maxed out. You can just use what you need. Um, I don't ride that fast most of the time. So, but so anyhow, yeah, but hopefully you got something out of this and uh, I hope to have more content coming soon as I have time to make the videos and get them out there and trying to come up with some new ideas for videos that something else I failed to mention is just how comfortable this bike is it's um, with my handlebars the 120 mil rise just kind of almost makes it like an adult BMX and the, the geometry of it I can't tell you the numbers but it's it's really nice geometry it puts you kind of over the pedals so it is when you want to pedal it's easier to pedal um, you know to get the power down than being back further um, you know from the center point so but yeah it's got a good geometry the steering is uh, the fork it, it isn't super slack I think it's like 67 degrees don't quote me on that um, but it seemed like if I remember right looking at the specs it was like around 67 degrees which isn't too awful slack um, it is actually really easy to ride no-handed if you want to some of the bikes um, don't seem so much that way but it uh, with the Ergon saddle the SMC men's saddle and these 120 mil rise bars it's actually really comfortable to ride um, there's a lot of value here this this uh, this ridge this is our trail ridge m.2 it it has so much value and I uh, it's nice that just anybody can go out and get one kind of sort of you know with Walmart's being being you know pretty local to most people and uh, I'm just glad to see the direction that they're going with their products the the slalom um, you know it's a it's a very capable full suspension mountain bike for the money and this one here it's it doesn't have boost but uh, but the quick release I haven't had a problem with up front of course in the back now that I've got the hub motor on it's bolted on but it's it's a solid platform to especially if you want to build yourself an e-bike um, this platform's great easily easily available everything pretty much is upgradable on this bike and it's uh, it's a really good value so hopefully you got something from my little ramblings here and uh, if nothing else, enjoyed some of the scenery. We'll give you a little shot here of the lake. Place we like to come and hang out, go for a ride. It's about 12 and a half miles around and uh, do most of my e-bike rides here. So, God bless you all.